So this is the file that we are going to use, the final BAM file. So we call it the BAM ready file. What we are going to do next is to index this BAM file. So we will say some tools index and we specify that BAM file. So we say father.edup.bam. So we are going to index this. Now we have it done. So if you do an ls into BAMs, you will find that the, the dupe one has another file called .bi. So this indicates that we have indexed this BAM file. So the BAM file is now ready for the dance analysis. So that means we can now call the variant from this BAM file. That is what it means. If you don't index, then some of the programs may not work. Some programs, let me just put it the way. Some programs require you to have BAM file, which is index. And that is why we have to index this. And free bias also requires us to index the BAM file. That is why we have to do that. So now we are ready to call the variant. So let's proceed. Let's go back to the Galaxy page and see what is there. Okay, so we are there. So there is a short statement here that you can read to get extra information. For the Galaxy tutorial, they use multiple samples, but I am using a single sample. So the procedure here has been changed a bit, okay, to suit what I'm doing. So that's it. Again, I'll make another tutorial where I demonstrate how you can call variants when dealing with multiple samples. So make sure you come back to this channel to watch that. So, and before we go to the terminal, let me repeat again that you can find the manual for free bias here. It is the GitHub page. So just make sure you check this link and then get some useful information here. So let's go back. We will go back to the terminal now. Okay, so on the terminal, we will perform the variant call using free bias. But before we do that, let's create a directory called VCF. Let's say make the VCF. So let's create this directory. We will use this directory to store the output file that we will generate after variants have been called. So let's go. Let's clear the screen first. We are now going to call the variants. So we say free base and we say dash f. Dash f here indicates the reference genome. So I will say beta slash ref slash aj19 underscore chr8 dot fa and i'll say dash b to indicate the bam file so it's bams slash father dot the dupe dot bam we say that that vcf so this tells everybody that we want to generate a vcf we want the output file to be in the vcf format so we say slash we say vcf slash father vcf that's what we have here so this is the full command so let's run this to for the variants okay the variant calling has been done successfully so if you do an ls into the vcf directory you will see that a file has been generated let's look at that Perfect. So this is the VCF file. What we are going to do next is to compress this VCF file. So we will use the bgzip command. So we see bgzip. We say VCF slash father dot VCF. 
perfect so it has been done so we have compressed it the reason why we are compressing is that we are going to process this vcf further we are going to manipulate it using bcf tools and some of the commands that we use in bcf tools require that we have a bg zip file so that is why we are compressing it into this format so that's about it so now let's proceed <laughs> 